In this video, we are going to see the timer program. In the previous video, we have seen an example of timer program, how to create an square wave. Here in this program, uh, we are trying to create a delay. In previous program, what we have done, so we have created a drop square wave, right? We have not fixed with any of your frequencies. So we have just generated a square wave. So whatever values you are going to give in th and tl, it is going to generate its square wave in previous program. But here, this program is to understand how it is trying to create a delay. So if you want to create a delay, we have to give something in terms of calculations for your counting. So if you want to understand it more, so we can able to directly go to the program. So the program which is given to us, is like assume uh, the crystal clock frequency is 11.0592 it's given so in most of the programs we will be using the same so after that it has been given what value do we need to load the timer register what are those timer registers which is going to be tl and th so if it is going to be timer zero right so it is going to be th naught and tl naught what we have to load inside your tl naught and th naught so that it will create a time delay of 5 milliseconds. So for the Triton assembly language program, for timer 0, to create a pulse width of 5 milliseconds on 4th to 3rd pin. Pulse width, so it has been not defined as square wave. So what is the objective of here? So if it is going to be relatively 0 here, so for some duration of time, it has to be in the position of 1, right? So what is the position of 1? Well, what duration it should take? It should be 5 milliseconds. That's what your question is. So we have to fix the count. So if it is going to be in terms of timer, it is going to be uh, counting till FF, FF, maximum value. So your TL0 and TH0 is going to be taken here, right? So what is the value you should take here? So that it is going to have the value of delay of 5 milliseconds. That's what the question. So in order to understand the provider details, so we know the port, which is going to be port 2 and pin 3. And you have to use your timer 0 and you have to create a delay of 5 milliseconds. So this is the question. So you have to find the value of TL0 and TH0 for this one. So in order to understand it in further detail, we can able to move inside the calculations which is going to be coming in next slide. So in overall picture, we can able to understand the question. So the 5 millisecond delay has to be created. So in order to see the solution, so the crystal oscillation frequency, we know that it is going to be 11.0592, right? So it is going to be counting. So we have already calculated what will be the microseconds of this time period, right? So this means out of many 1.0895 microsecond interval, we have to make 5 millisecond pulse. Already this is there for individual time period. In that, we are going to make the use of this 5 millisecond. You are going to generate this 5 millisecond pulse. To get it, we divide one by another, which means we need 5 millisecond delay, which means in terms of on and off. So here you are going to divide it with the time free, uh, time which is going to be given for our given by our crystal oscillator frequency so we are going to divide it so if you are going to divide it so the total time period uh, in terms of clocks is going to be 4608 right you can uh, divide and you can able to see how it is getting uh, done so after that uh, in order to achieve we need to fix your tl naught and th naught right so how to fix this tl naught and tf naught so what is the maximum value which we can able to have with the help of FEF, FEF, right? We have already seen this in theory class. So we have got the value of 65536, right? And this is the time clocks which is being, which we need to use, right? So this is the clock frequency we have uh, uh, generated for your 5 millisecond delay. And this is the maximum value we can able to get it with the help of FEF, FEF for the time period of 1.085 microseconds. So what we have to do, we have to subtract 65536 with 4608. So we are going to get the value of E000, right? So before we have TH is going to be, therefore we are going to have TH is going to be E0 
and TL is going to be 0, 0. PE 0, 0, that is what we are going to take here. Is this understood till now? So, if you are having any difficulties in understanding, please comment in the comment section so I can able to make it little more clear. Because this is an values, if you are going to give the values of E00, it is going to start its count from E00 and it is going to have its maximum values FF, FF. So after getting this one, this TF0 is going to be set to 1. This is what we, we can able to understand, right? So, what is the value we have to fix it? In terms of 8086, I can able to directly give the exact count which I want. Here, I can't able to give it. So, I have to calculate this value. So, in order to calculate it, we have to calculate this clocks. From this clocks, we have to subtract this value so that you can able to get the exact value of TF and TH and TL. So, if it is going to be your timer 0, it is going to be TL0 and TF0. So, 5 milliseconds which is given. So, 1.085 is going to be uh, given by our oscillator, crystal oscillator. So, divide both the things, you will be getting some particular clock and after that what is the maximum value which we can able to take is FF, FF, subtract both the things, you can able to get the value of TH and TL. Right? So, we can able to move to the next step. So, here I have not asked you to create an square wave just I have asked you to toggle it for some duration of time. So, if I am going to make it, so for 5 milliseconds, it should be on. That is my condition. So, I am not asking you to create an, again I am, I am not asking you to put a 0, right. If you want, you can able to put, but my condition is going to be, it has to stop its operation at 5 milliseconds, that is my condition, right. So, port 2.3 has to be enabled, so I can able to clear it. In previous program, the video I have said that we can able to clear that port also. So, clear your port first initially, so that it can able to start from 0. So, after that one T mod register is going to be 0 1, we have understood from the previous video itself, going to be hitting the value of H. And after that TL naught is going to be 0 0, we have calculated and TH naught is going to get the value of EE, we have already calculated. Set byte 2.3, which means I am going to make it from 0 to 1. So, this is going to happen here, right, initially it was 0 it is going to take it value of 1, right. So, port 2, third pin is going to be enabled. Set TR0, which means at this point of time, your going, timer is going to start its operation, right. So, it is going to start its count from E00 to FF, FF here. That is what it means, right. So, total it should be having 5 milliseconds. That is what we are uh, intended to do. So, after that one, again, jump no byte. So, we have seen. So, we have to check for your overflow flag. When this overflow flag is 1, you have to stop your operation. Till your overflow flag is not 0, so not 1, which is not set. We have to uh, again, again repeat the loop so that it is going to keep on uh, having its count and it is going to check on your TF0, which is going to be overflow for your timer 0. So, after that one, you have to clear your uh, T or not, you have to stop your timer and after that you have to clear your TF not. TF not, it is going to say that uh, your overflow flag is going to be 0. Actually, we do not have to do this one, but if you want to repeat the loop again and again, as like we are going to do in terms of complement in your previous video, we can able to use these two things. Else, still this is enough, right. So, it is going to start its count from EE00 and it is going to continue its count from FEF, EFEF, all those things are going to be here and after that one, this operation is going to be completed. This is what it is intended to do. This program is intended to do. So, we can able to directly move into the programming. Yeah. So, this is our previous program. So, I can comment this one. This is the present program which I have taken. So, I am uncompeting this one. So, all those program is going to be same. So, it is going to be H, right. So, clear 2.3 and after that T mod is going to be 0, 1. All those things are going to be same. So, whenever I am going to run this program, so I can able to stop it and I can save it, build 
all those things I can do. And after that, I can able to click target and I can able to check whether your crystal oscillator frequency is 11.0592. If it is okay, press okay. And after that one, you can able to debug. In this debug, you can able to see the program is getting executed. So clear port 2.3. So you can able to check with the memory location also that one. So, but here you can just understand the T-mod register and other things, right? So, after that one, if you can able to see your T-mod register, T-mod register is going to get the value of 1. So, timer 0 is getting activated, 16-bit mode. So, the things of TL0 and uh, TH0 is going to be 0, 0 and 0, E. So, E is 0, 0, right? That's what we need. So, TH0 is going to be E and it is going to be 0, 0. Since it is having a, not having an alphabet, it is going to be 0, 0. If it is having an alphabet, 0 is going to be added in front. So, it is going to have its value, right? And so, TL0 and TH0, whether it is going to get those values, we can check that one. So, 0, 0 can't be seen, but E can be seen, right? So, E has been loaded here. And after that one, TR0 set TR0. So, if it is going to be setting TR0, so you can able to see... Uh, that specific TR0 is going to be enabled. So your timer is going to start its operation. So it is going to count, right? So it is going to count its values. So TH0 and uh, TL0, all those values, right? So you can able to see 3, 5, 7. Like this, it is going to be keep on incrementing its individual values in terms of TH0. And it is going to repeat its operation. So we have to check for that condition to be satisfied. So I can able to directly run this program. So, and you can able to see how, when, uh, whenever, wherever it is getting completed. So, at last it should complete at some point of time, right? So, whenever it is going to get its value. So, after that one, I can check with logic analyzer. So, in that I have to set up. So, previously it is 1.5. Now, it should be 2.3. So, I can delete it, get a new one. So, P 2.3. After that, I can able to press close. And after that, I can able to press auto. So, you can able to get a pulse wave, right? So, I can able to uh, zoom out so that I can able to see the width. So, I can able to see the width now, right? So, from here to here, I have to calculate the duration. So, I can able to take the cursor. So, I am first it is starting with 0, 0. I am putting the point as 0, 0. And after that one, I am going to see the values, uh, how far it is going to be generated. See here. So, 5 milliseconds. So, it is being on for 5 milliseconds. So, our objective is completed. So, what is the objective which is given? So, P 2.3 should be on for 5 milliseconds, right? So, this is on for 5 milliseconds. If you want to create a square wave, complement it and do the loop again and again using a call function. So, we have seen in the previous video. So, like this, I can able to create a square wave. If I need, I can able to give in terms of a rectangular wave. So, all those things we can able to do with the help of our programming skills for each and every port. Right? Yeah. So, that's it for uh, this video. We can able to see the next program in next video. Thank you for your patient listening.